Hey guys, my name is Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take just a regular photo from your phone and turn it into really gorgeous wall art. This is a super fun way to personalize some of your favorite memories and get them up on your wall. This project is super easy. It's not intimidating. You do not need to be an artist. All you're going to need is some watercolor paper, a picture frame, a smartphone, and a printer, and that's it. This will not even take you an hour. I'm actually going to take you guys with me on my search for a picture frame. You can use whatever picture frame you want. There were just a couple of things that I wanted to keep in mind when picking mine out to help with the overall look that I was going for. So maybe seeing me pick it out will help you guys kind of decide that for yourselves. So yeah, it's super simple and let's get into the project. All right, so here I am at Home Goods, and they had quite a large selection. I did zero in on this guy right away because I was going for something with more of a warm tone for the frame. They did just have so many options. I really did like the gray and the black frames and even the matted frames. It's just I was going for something a little bit more coastal looking. And the real reason I zeroed in on this guy was because I had a vision of kind of tearing the edges, and I thought that this would look really good with that. All right, so I narrowed it down to these three frames and that was a mortar and pestle that I didn't end up buying, but I thought it was really cute. Anyways, the first one is um, probably the front runner right here and then this guy and then the one on the far left, uh, it wasn't one where I could rip the edges, but I just really like the stain on the end. And these were all $7.99, so except for I think the middle one was $5.99, so that's a really good deal. But I did end up going with the one on the right because I wanted to rip the edges and give it kind of a distressed look. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to instantly turn your photos into watercolor, just like that, using an app. The app is called Waterlog. I will put a link in the description box. It is $4.99, so it's very inexpensive. Um, you just upload your photo from your photo library. I decided to use this photo of Mike and I on our honeymoon because I thought that was a pretty memory that I wanted to have on the wall. And as you can see, right when you upload it, it gives it that watercolor effect. And you can scroll through the bottom and there's different tones and kind of filters you can use on your watercolor. Um, I usually go with the natural one. As you can see, it gives you a little preview on the bottom right hand corner. And when you like it, you can click on it and it transforms it into your picture. So I like that natural one and there we go. And from there, I'm just gonna save it to my phone. And from there, you can either email it to yourself or if you have a iPhone and a Mac, just AirDrop and then we're gonna print next. Okay, so we're gonna start with this watercolor paper. I got this pad from Walmart for like $6. I will link it below. Um, you don't have to use watercolor paper, but I just like the effect that it gives. But if this is too rough on your printer or you just don't wanna go out and get some you can use regular paper too so I'm going to use my little Cricut cutter here just to cut it down for the printer because it was just a little bit too wide but you can just use scissors if you don't have one of these cutters um, so yeah now it's ready to put through the printer all right here I am giving it a little extra push because sometimes that thick paper gets stuck but you can scale it to the size of your frame mine was a little bit of a smaller frame all right, so now we are going to tear the edges. This is actually pretty easy with the watercolor paper. So you just kind of fold it right along the edge and make sure you press it down and that it's straight before you press it down. And then you kind of just go back and forth and keep creasing it on that line, just so it makes it really easy to tear because you don't want to tear into your picture on accident. So then just go very slowly and a little tiny bit at the top and then it should kind of perforate that. Sometimes it goes off of the crease. So there it started to go off. So I decided to work from the other side of the crease. And there we go. It got a pretty little tear. I love it when there's a little bit of that white. It makes it look very organic and natural. And so you're just going to do that to the other three sides. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm really happy with how it came out. I'm ready now to put it in the frame and see how it looks all put together. All right, so here's the finished product. I really love how this came out. I think it looks really good layered with other artwork, and I really am a big fan of those ribbed edges. I think that it just adds a little something extra. So yeah, that concludes today's video. Um, I hope that you guys got a little bit inspired somehow. There's a multitude of ways that you can do this. Um, you can even make like an accent wall with a bunch of these from a certain vacation or a certain photo shoot or your wedding. I hope this inspires you guys to go out there and try something similar. Um, I also just do want to say that I am not by any way sponsored by Waterlogged. This is just an app that I came across and I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope it's a way that you're able to take a photo that you would have just had sitting in your phone of an awesome memory, and it's now going to be something that you can print and put on the wall and be reminded of every day. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I really do appreciate all of the likes and feedback that I've been getting from you guys. You know that I'm just starting my channel, so all of that really, really helps me, especially at this stage. So I just want to say a big thank you to you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!